Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your February 2020 monthly reading. This is going to be for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Feel free to check the Moon, Rising, Venus signs for additional messages for you or your person. If you're unsure, unaware of what your other planetary placements are, there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information. All right, my beautiful Cassarians, now that I've put the tower back up, let's go ahead and get this reading started. We're going to open tonight with a Sacred Destiny Oracle card. Take a look to some Romance Angels. Check to see what's going on in your heart space within your romantic life, Cancer. I'm going to get into the spread and follow up with a Wisdom of the Oracle card to close out. All right, Cancer, so you've got going forward. So what I can tell you already from this little message is that you guys are moving on from situations and journeys that no longer is yours. You're completing a cycle. So when you get this card, when you receive this card, fertility, productivity, love, health, abundance, and fulfillment are headed for you. Things are growing and expanding in your life. Keep going forward. Sometimes it may be easy to be distracted by what's occurring around you, but this card indicates that it's important to not let anything hold you back from increasing the bounty in your life. Step up and know that your needs will be taken care of. Your life is escalating and intensifying in the best way possible and for your highest good. So yes, Cancer, I'm loving that energy. That is a beautiful way to start. February. I mean, that's not a good idea. We'll put that there. Yes. I actually lit my candles for the first time in a while, so we don't want to put anything up against there. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light. Let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2022, please. The area of love and romance. What is going on? With my beautiful Cancerians, what is your best message, advice, and guidance for Cancer at this time? What is going on with Cancer? Please show me. We're going to go through that a second time because I felt like there was cards that wanted to come out but didn't. All right, Cancer, bottom of the deck. You've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. All right, so we've got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And some of you are being guided to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So Cancer, when I get this card, I know that some of you are like, but I am not and having anything to do with my ex. And granted, for a lot of you, that is true. Some of you, you know that this energy applies for those. So, but those that think that there's no way possible, this energy applies to me, I would suggest you kind of take a deeper dive, a deeper look. I don't think you're holding on to your ex, Cancer, as in wanting them back, desiring to be, be with them. But you can be hanging on to old resentment, sadness, you know, holding on to the pain or, you know, any feeling that is connected with that ex in a negative aspect um, could be holding you back even just a slight little bit. And one of the things that it is time for is to move forward, to keep moving forward. So don't let this energy distract you from where you're meant to be and meant to go. Don't let this energy be what holds you back from getting that wealth of an abundance. Um, you know, that's a beautiful beginning that is happening for you in this very moment that you're heading towards. Like, I mean, it's a beautiful energy and I can see beautiful things happening for my cancer, but you've got to release that energy, all of it, every last bit of it, every drop. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at your heart space at this time, cancer. And let's look at the, maybe the, sometimes this can also be relationship issues that are coming through. So let's go ahead and take a look here. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light. Let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs 
for February 2022. What do you have in store for my Cancers? What's going on within their heart space, in their love lives, in their situations? What is their energies looking like at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. What's going on with my beautiful Cancers, please? Okay. That is a whole, whole lot. So we've got spiritual connection, deep love, soulmate, to unity. If that's the one that I'm taking, uh, we'll see if more come out. But that's what I'm taking at this moment in time. We're going to keep going. All right. So we've got dreams, fairy tales, imagination. <clears throat> we've got misunderstood, lost soul, victim, mistakes. We've got some conflict, conflicted, multiple choices, and inconsistencies, decisions. All right, now we're going to go through it one more time and see what comes through, if anything else. All right, we had a bunch more pop. Right. Yeah, that's not surprising me. Frozen at the bottom of the deck. That card also was in that first bunch that came through. And I felt like I was really drawn to it, but I didn't want to go with it. But there it is. Frozen, silence, stillness, some no words. Some of you are definitely in separation from your person. There's no contact. There's no communication. Things are not happening. There is nothing going on in there. So we've got trapped, stuck down, tied down, captive. We've got clashing differences and compatibility conflict. We got the chase, preparation, relentless pursuit, victory. We got infatuation, adoration, addiction, compulsion. And then we have resentment showing up, singing words, bitterness, anger. And I think that's really pointing to that energy that we really need to, to release. Now, I'm going to run through these different scenarios and energies that I'm picking up on cancer. If it applies to you, take it and run with it. If it doesn't, drop it like a hot potato. All right, so we got the spiritual connection, deep love, soulmates, unity. There's definitely some of you that are connecting with a soulmate or will be in the month of February. This is someone that you are going to have an unexplainable connection draw. There will be a, such an a energy between you that it will be physically tangible. And if you know what I mean by that, then you're already on track. You've already um, within that person's orbit. And if not, Cancer, get ready because it's going to be something that you've never experienced before. All right, so then we move it on over here to fantasy. Dreams, fairy tales, imagination. Cancer, are you daydreaming or even dreaming about somebody? Are you playing out scenarios in your head about how you would like for this to work out? Are you dreaming of your um, soulmate or your future partner? Are you kind of bringing, you know, imagining them, drawing them up, your dream person? Um, that could be some of what's going on. If this does not apply to you, Cancer, this could be very well be your person that is dreaming and fantasizing and telling little fairy tales in their head about how they want to work things out or how, how they want things to play out with you. All right. So those are two great, wonderful messages. Now we're going to jump into the not so nice. We've got misunderstood, lost soul, victim, mistakes. So this is an energy of somebody or persons, whether it's you, Cancer, or your person out there that feels lost. That feels like they were victimized, whether this was in a relationship with you, Cancer, or with, you know, or you with somebody else, Cancer. But somebody feels victimized. That there are mistakes. Um, there was mistakes made, whether you made them or they made them. But they just feel like it was all a misunderstanding. Um, you could even feel that way. But I can tell you, this is distorted energy, and this can cause delays in your love life. In your life, it will create blockages and clog up the system. And keep you from being able to move forward. So if that is resonating with you, there is one thing that you can look into of releasing so that you can move forward. All right. So for another little group of my cancers here, we got conflicted, multiple choices, inconsistency, and decisions. I'm getting two specific messages for this. Cancer, very well may be possible that you are conflicted about a choice that you need to make. This could be in love or have to do with love. I'm getting that it could be love and career for some of you. Um, love and a 
like family relationships for another set of you. But I'm definitely picking up there's like multiple choices, right? There's more options on the table and you are conflicted about which direction to go in. Um, advice here is to spend some time in meditation if you meditate or just spending some time really thinking out this option. Make a pros and cons list if you got to, but don't spend too much energy on it. I'm picking up seven of cups energy. So, you know, all the choices are wonderful. One is going to be obviously the best. You need to decide which one that is for you. All right. So the other part of this um, energy that I'm picking up with this message is that the person that you may be dealing with may be showing you inconsistency. So Cancer, I feel like some of you are already in a connection with this where this is applying or this could be somebody that you're currently in separation from because they were unable to keep, you know, consistency within this relationship or within their life. I feel like this person is really struggling at this moment to keep their head above the water. Um, some of the, the, some of the people, this is financially, this is causing them to be so unstable. So if that is you, tune in for the rest of this reading because I got a feeling that there's going to be additional messages relating to that. Just call it uh, my intuition. Trapped. Okay, stuck down, tying down, captive. I feel like this is both mutual energy, Cancer, for you and your person. Um, for some of you, this, you were, are literally feeling held captive by your feelings for this person. Um, some of you are feeling, you know, stuck, unable to move forward, unable to get past what happened within this connection. Whether this is moving past to forgive them and move forward with them, or if this is you just wanting to move past the whole scenario and go your own way. I feel like some of you are really feeling kind of tied to this energy, to this person. And there is ways to circumvent that if that is you, Cancer. Um, look into cord cutting uh, meditations and um, just look into cord cutting. Okay, so if this is your person... They could be stuck in another connection, okay? I am getting that for some of you. They could be stuck in, a, in another situation that they want to come forward to you, Cancer, but can't at this moment. They are captivated by you. I am picking up on that energy. They want to reach out. They want to communicate, but for some reason, something is preventing them from doing so. <clears throat> now, this could be because of their job, their family. They could have another person that they're currently connected to. Some of them are married. Um, and I'm getting up on that energy that they do want to step out. They want to step away. They want to end the things. But right at this moment, they're stuck and can't make that move. Or that is what they're saying to you. All right. So now we're moving into differences and compatibility, conflict and clashing. So this is my big time distorted energy. If you can see the image in this card, it's definitely distorted energy um, between two people because there's arguments, there's fights, there's anger. There's conflict. There's definitely resentment um, between you and another person, Cancer. Um, this is time. This is definitely energy that you want to release, set free, let go, so that you can move forward to those beautiful things that are awaiting you. All right. So we've got the chase, preparation, relentless pursuit, and victory. Cancer, is it possible that you're about ready to go on the biggest chase of your life and have a victory and find the person that's always meant for you? Find your soulmate, connect with your soulmate, or is this somebody coming towards you, Cancer? That is the question. Stay tuned to find out the answer. All right, and then we have infatuation, adoration, addiction, compulsion. Somebody's infatuated with you, Cancer, or you are infatuated with them. This just means that you both are crushing on each other extremely hard. Now, I am going to give a cautionary warning here that I am picking up on energies of a little bit of obsession. Yeah, obsession. So obsessively thinking about another person or this person's obsessively thinking about you, Cancer. And that can actually be counterproductive in bringing this connection together or having a healthy connection if there is not balance. Otherwise, Cancer, you may, have, you may find someone absolutely adorable or someone may be finding you absolutely adorable at this time. But those are the energies and situations I have picked up on. A lot of you got some major good things happening. And the others of you that got some of that distorted energy, just a little bit of work, and you will have wonderful things happening too. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look at the tarot and see what's going on for my beautiful Cancers. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for February 
2022. That's messages, advice, and guidance coming through for the Cancerian Collective. What does Cancer most need to know at this time, please? Show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance. Look, there's that Seven of Cups. There's that Seven of Cups. I told you I felt that energy. All right, here we go, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. All right, heart of the matter, we have the Six of Swords. Mm-hmm. Being crossed by the Knight of Swords. Okay. At the In the distant past here, we have the Devil. When I say distant, it can be anywhere between yesterday and 50 years ago. We're all in our different timelines. Take it as it resonates for you. We got the Hierophant coming in, the most recent past energy. Crowning this is the Five of Swords. Future energy coming in is the magician. How you are seeing yourself, how others are seeing you at this time is the two of pentacles. Outside influences, we have the tower. Five of pentacles and the hopes and fears. Future energy, we've got the page of wands. Overall energy, four of cups. Hidden energy here is the knight of wands. Bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. All right, so cancer. Let's dive into this, shall we? Six of Swords being crossed by the Knight of Swords. Six of Swords, all about that power of moving on, Cancer. It is taking the lessons learned, moving from difficult situations into calmer times, calmer waters, into things that align with your highest good. And this is you taking action. I really feel like action is being taken here with this Knight of Swords. It's very quick. It's very driven. It is a motivating, very fast movement with this Knight of Swords. This has a purpose. You have a purpose. You have realized your purpose. And Cancer, you are in that boat and you're motoring away from things that no longer serve you. And I'm very, very proud of you, Cancer. All right, so we've got the Devil in the distant past position. The Devil is Capricorn energy. But this can also be... You know, energy from anything from addiction to obsession to overindulgence, toxic behaviors, self-limiting patterns, deceit. Uh, this can be, you know, toxic patterns and behaviors. This could be how you talk to yourself or you think about yourself. And this can really be a plethora of different things. It's going to mean different things to different people. But there was some type of toxicity here in the past that was very present that I feel like you are moving away from with the Six of Swords. Now, I'm going to get clarifiers on this in just a minute to see, uh, take a deeper dive and see what this is all about. But this is you moving away from that, taking action to purposely move away from things that are not yours any longer and that need to be, be left behind. The higher font is coming in as recent past energy. Now, you could have been dealing with a Taurus or somebody who worked in, in leadership. Or this could be you. You could work in a leadership position. Um, within a job, but this could be talking about marriage or commitment. Some of you may have had a toxic marriage that you're moving on from or a toxic commitment that is, it's just, you know, that had you dealt with addictions, you had dealt with obsessions, overindulgence, um, you know, uh, toxic behaviors, patterns, relationships, you know, somebody that held you back that never contributed to the relationship in a positive manner. But I feel like you're moving forward to that. So the Five of Swords is somebody. Oh, I feel like some of you are done with somebody who was very manipulative, that was very sneaky, that tried to get away with things behind your back. Cancer, they could have even tried to play you here. The thing is, for a lot of you, I feel like you're flipping the script. And why I'm saying that is, I'm not saying that you're going manipulative on them or playing them. I feel like where you're flipping the switch, flipping the, the script on them is that you are now being strategic in your movements. I don't feel like you're telegraphing or announcing the moves that you're getting ready to make or that you're making cancer, but I do feel like you're being very strategic, very careful, very precise in your next movements. This is something you're doing with attention. And I have to say, I'm going to give you a round of applause there because look where you're moving towards. You're moving towards the magician. This is manifesting your wildest dreams, what you set your heart to, what you set your attentions to, what you're willing to put the work in. This is you planting the seeds for your future and moving forward. 
You are at this moment coming through as the Two of Pentacles, which to me is just precisely you trying to find the footing, trying to find the balance and moving forward to the next stage of your life. Your next stage of your journey, Cancer. This is you trying to find that balance, trying to find that right new beginning, that first step, right? Struggling to take that first step. You've already gone through the difficult part of choosing a new direction. Now it's taking that first step. All right, so we have the tower and the outside influences. So I feel like for some of you, this is not going to be a particular person. This is going to be a situation, an action. Um, I'm hearing act, act of, you know, I'm hearing act of God for some of you. For others of you that are you're not religious, it can be an act of the universe that shook things up. Yeah. It, it it didn't feel pleasant. It wasn't comfortable. This has already happened for most of you. If you haven't, if it has not yet happened, it will. It's only a matter of time. It will. And this was not a comfortable energy to go through, but it was a necessary energy to go through with this tower. This was a big moment. This was a big epiphany. This was the destruction of anything that was a, a mirage, anything that wasn't true or solid or grounded. Everything that was a lie or manipulation was exposed. Anything that had a falsehood tumbled down. This was allowing you to begin this new journey. And it was a teaching lesson as well. It was that closing out. You learned a lot from this tower, Cancer. I'm very certain of that for a lot of you. You learned a lot from this tower moment. Now, for a very small select few of you, I feel like your person, your person is going through a tower moment in this very moment. A lot of drastic major changes are happening for this person. So hopes and fears, the five of pentacles. Cancer, let's acknowledge that you've been through it, okay? There is no doubt in that. There was a lot of loss, unhappiness, suffering that took place. There could have been feelings of abandonment. This was definitely a desolated energy that I'm picking up. Like one man's island, alone in the island, you know, one man's show. It definitely felt one man's show with no one in the audience. So that's exactly what this feels like to me. Um, some of you may be um, in theater or a theatric major. Um, I'm getting that message. Um, but there was a lot of hurt. There was a lot of hurt and pain and feeling like your, like your self-worth wasn't being recognized. You took a lot of hits to your self-esteem. Um, whatever this represents for you. Again, all of you, that's going to be different. Uh, there's no way to narrow it down when I'm dealing with a large uh, energy of people. But this tells me that this was awful. And this is your biggest fear is more loss, more pain, more feeling left out, feeling completely alone. And I got to tell you, Cancer, that's not going to happen. Not anymore. You're moving in a new direction. The possible outcome or future energy moving in is the page of wands. This is a new beginning, right? What is that page carrying? The Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning, spark of creation, passion, and new idea. For if this is love, this is a new beginning, a passionate new beginning in love beginning for you here. For others of you, this can legitimately, you're about ready to go on the journey of your lifetime. There'll be fun and laughter and passion and joy. There'll be abundance and health and reward for you. This is you starting that magnificent journey that very well may take you to your soulmate. We've got the four of cups coming in here as the overall energy. So there is an offer, an opportunity. It's back here, Cancer. It hasn't quite arrived yet for a lot of you. Some of you, it's already in hand. But there is an offer coming from the universe to you. It's there. But you're not seeing it. Some of you are not seeing it. Some of you are, are kind of staring off in the distance unsatisfied, unhappy. Could be your person, Cancer, but a lot of you, I feel like this is you. You've taken a look at what you've already experienced, what you've already had in life. And I feel like for some of you that where this is applying, you haven't quite yet gone into that, that motorboat and motoring away yet. But you're looking at it and you're not happy. You're not satisfied. You know that there's better for you out there, but don't get so distracted on what you don't have or what you already experienced. That you miss what is right there. 
It is coming to you. It's being presented. When it comes, it's time to take action. So the hidden energy here is the Knight of Wands. So I'm getting conflicting energy from this, okay? Some of you, this could be the person, your past person, the person that you've dealt with. For others of you, this is kind of, this could be an action card. Take action, right? Go after that cup. Move towards it. Move forward. Get in the boat. Motor on. This can be very well. You know, your subconscious telling you it's time to go. It's time to be impulsive. It's time to get moving, Cancer. No more sitting safe in your safety of your shell. It's time to break out and get moving. I do get that message. For others of you, I feel like this is somebody that you dealt with that was very unstable and unreliable. That inconsistent energy is what's coming up there. All right, so I'm going to get a couple of clarifiers, Cancer, on the cards on the table. Just to kind of look and see what some of the, what just a little bit deeper dive into some of these energies, like the devil, for example. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2022. Clarifying the cards on the table for my beautiful Cancers. Starting with this devil and the past, distant past position, please. And the root. Why is the devil here as in the root. All right, so we got the Emperor, Aries energy now coming through, Divine Masculine energy. One more. What else can you tell me about this devil, please? One more on this devil. Thank you. Yeah. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Magician with the the emperor clarifying the devil with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So cancer, I got to tell you, um, you know, this again, that devil is going to represent so many different things for all of you. One of the things I'm picking up on is there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of wounds. There was a lot of manipulations. There was a lot of, you know, trickery, deception that went on here. So maybe some of you, this could also have been somebody who was, maybe you should have shared children together. Um, was a, you know, some of you, this was a spouse, a partner, a boss, but you, it left you wounded. Like there's a lot of wounds. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of defensiveness happening here. I do feel like someone tried to put it on a one man show here all about them. Not, not paying attention and not, not seeing that it's a two part, two way street here. Um, but I definitely feel like at the end of the day, there was rejections. There was, you know, this desolated energy feeling left alone, abandoned, turned out, turned away wounded very very wounded and there was love in this situation at one point in time cancer from you i feel like you're the one that feels like you were left out and it took a lot of strength and um intention in order for you ever to be able to move forward to even move past this excuse me guys and with this strength card with coming through some of you could have been dealing with a leo or an aries a capricorn i'm getting aquarius and taurus and this magician as well but it doesn't have to be any of those um signs but if it does if it resonates take it if it doesn't leave it all right so let's see what's happening here with this higher font and the recent past energy what is going on with this higher font and the recent past energy for cancer well that was quick what else can you tell me thank you Thank you. All right. So we've got the four of swords. All right. We got the six of wands. We got the ace of wands and we got the nine of swords with the four of swords. Okay. All right, Cancer. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus, right? Um, not all of you, but some of you are. What I'm getting here is there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion here. There's also a lot of nine of swords energy. So that's mental body overthinking, anxiety, depression, sleepless nights. There is an energy of wanting to move forward, wanting to have victory, wanting to reunite the passion, probably within a connection, a stable connection, or this could be, you know, moving forward, having a victory, you know, within, you know, a business or an institution, you know, really, you know, being successful, getting recognized for your efforts, for all the passionate work that you put in, um, all the effort that you placed in this cancer. At the end of the day, I feel like you guys had to take a step back. 
you had to contemplate your next move, your next, you know, how, how are you going to get through this is what I'm getting. Um, cause I do feel, yeah, there's the eight of cups. This was a walking away energy. I feel like some of you, like, this is what you wanted. You wanted success. You wanted to, to have a victory. You wanted to passionately move forward within this connection. You wanted stability. You wanted long-term happiness. You wanted, you know, to build a life with somebody or build your life the way you expect it to be if this is not romance for you. You know, this could have been you taking the lead within your family. Um, but there was, like, there, was, there was a lot of hesitation I'm feeling here. And I feel like this, this did not lead to a good place. I feel like there was a lot of, like, energy of over, overthinking this of sleepless nights, of worry, anxiety, even depression. Uh, some of you went through the dark night of the soul here. Um, a lot of you are here trying to take a time out to heal from this and consider walking away. Some of you are maybe, you know, d still in the process of deliberating whether or not you want to keep trying or, or to go. All right, so what do we have for the Five of Swords, please? Crowning this reading for Cancer. Why is the Five of Swords here? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance for Cancer, please. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? What do we got? Five of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. All right, Cancer. Uh, for a lot of you, I do feel like you have taken stock. You have you have evaluated what has been lost, what has been spilled. You've taken a look at your regrets, your sadness. You've mourned the situation. I want to point out we have 555, so look up the angel number 555 if this reading is resonating with you. Um, there may be additional message there for you. Especially with the Seven of Pentacles there as a div has divine energy. All right, so Seven of Pentacles, let's talk about that real quick. So that is definitely an energy of observation, of evaluation, of looking to see what the potential is, where the growth is going to happen, where the rewards are, where you are to invest your energy and where it's no longer viable. That is the energy of the Seven of the Pentacles. It's the energy of patience and waiting. And you know what, Cancer, for a lot of you that I said this before, and I'm going to reiterate it now, the Five of Swords for you is you strategically planning your next move. What is good for you? You are looking at what's been lost, your regrets. You're looking back at the past and seeing what went wrong. You're evaluating. In this current moment, you are in evaluation mode as you patiently wait to make your next move. Where you're going to blossom where you're going to grow, where your new beginning lies for abundance and happiness and love and fertility. You are looking forward. You are looking forward. You're not, this may be depicting you looking backwards, Cancer, but you're looking backwards to find out how to make your seeds grow the best. And this is what's beautiful to me, especially when it comes to love, guys. I'm going to say there's an emphasis on love there. You're moving into the position. So you're planting. Yep. You've walked away. You're moving on. You're planting those seeds. You're moving towards what now aligns with your highest good. Yep. Page of Swords. You gathered facts. You gathered wisdom. You've got your eye on the prize and you are moving forward. I can't make it up. You're planting the seeds for growth. You're making it happen. You're walking away from what no longer serves. You're moving towards what does serve you. Yeah, you're keeping an eye on situations. You're watching your growth. You're, you are definitely in, in um, stealth mode. And you're working towards your Ten of Pentacles. You're building that life that you've always wanted. That's your goal. That's your focus. And that's where you're moving to. And it's all because you've taken the time to plant the seeds and know what's going to grow. All right, Cancer. I'm going to... Take a look at this tower. I really don't think I, the, the, the two of pentacles or the five of pentacles here need to be um, looked at. But then we'll look at the page of wands. So what is this tower for my beautiful cancers? Outside influence. What is this tower? Seven of cups. All right. They threw a bunch. Seven of swords. Yeah. Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. Oh, 
look at that. These are in reverse, but I don't do reversals. But for those of you that read reversals, the devil and the two of swords is in reverse with the ace of pentacles and the upright. Seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, I'm telling you right now, for you, if this was your energy, this already happened for you. There was options. There was a lot of confusion, emotional overwhelm, while toxicity and indecision fell and new opportunities um, became came out of this tower. There was lies, manipulations, deceptions, trickery, you know, even thievery, sneaking around, whatever this, you know, toxicity, period, black with the Seven of Swords, right? Things that were hidden were exposed. Everything came to light. It was very emotionally overwhelming. It was definitely not an energy that you enjoyed. But out of it has come, birth, gave birth to new opportunities for, you know, abundance, for growth, for potential, for new beginnings. It's all there. And it, this tower fell to bring all this to light. So that you could get to this. Now, if this is your person, they want a new opportunity with you, but they're still indecisive as hell. They, whoop, sorry about that. There's seven of swords, so there's liar. This person is is definitely done some sneaky stuff, try to get away with things. We got the devil. We got the two of swords, crossroads energies, high priestess here. Um, somebody not speaking on it. Cancer Pisces energy within that high priestess. Wanting a new opportunity, but there's still so much indecision here. But that tower is going to come in. And it's going to shake them up. It's going to shake their booty. Yep, it's going to shake their booty. All right, so let's see this page of wands. Let's see this page of wands for my Cancer's um, outcome, please. Let me shake their booty. Oh, my. Page of wands for Cancer, please. Possible outcome here. Why is the page of wands here for cancer? The strength card at the bottom of the deck could be a Leo for some of you, not all of you. Here is why I went. Ooh. We have the seven of wands with the page of wands, the ten of cups, the two of wands, cancer. We have the ace of wands moving to the two of wands. So this is definitely you overcoming the challenges and blockages that was on your in your way. You have an option. You'll have a choice. There is a choice here. There's two paths being laid out in front of you. You get to choose the one that is meant for you, what you feel is more aligned with you. But regardless of which one you choose, you're headed towards the Ten of Pentacles. Or Ten of Cups, excuse me. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Here you have your focus, you're planting the seeds for that happy life, for the life you've always wanted, and here you are enjoying it. You're going to go on an adventure, you're going to choose the path, overcome the challenges, and move into your emotional fulfillment, your emotional bliss and happiness, Cancer. And I feel you're going to be very courageous while you're doing it. You're going to put in the effort and work to build. Yeah, to build. And you're going to do it with honesty and integrity in place. I love it, Cancer. Hold on one minute. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Sorry about that. I am not sick. I promised you guys that. Um, I was, it's, I was, I staged the area and the, the ashes are kind of making me sneeze. So that happens occasionally. All right, Cancer. Now we're going to take a look at the Zodiac card to see which Zodiac signs are most showing up in your energy at this time. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. Who is going to be most influential in the month of February. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Zodiac signs most shown up in Cancer's energy for February 2022. What do we have? Who's showing up for Cancer? All right, so we've got Taurus. We've got Aquarius. We've got Scorpio. 
We've got Virgo. There's your card, Cancer. Could be another Cancer you're connecting with, or you are going to be about yourself, some of you. Your energy is going to be the strongest. One more, please. Thank you. And, of course, we've got Leo with Gemini at the bottom. All right, let's get your final message here and uh, send you on your way. All right, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2022. Best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for the Cancer Collective. What does Cancer most need to know? What is our final message? For cancer, please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance, please, for cancer. Thank you. All right, cancer. We have unfinished sympathy, card number 10. All right, so this is the meanings i'm going to start with the oracle we're going to have really go to the relationship prosperity and protection message uh, take what resonates leave behind what doesn't this is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill before you can move forward it's important that you come to terms with where you are now practice radical acceptance Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur. And the answers you seek will be found. You can move forward if you are leaving things. You can't move forward if you're leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the sympathy, symphony can finally end on a high note. Relationship message. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart you can feel can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you is it important to achieve this for yourself write that letter make that call or have that conversation over a cup of coffee for a peace of mind accept matters as they are make amends if need be and declare your feelings even if only to yourself be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the path so you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. Prosperity message. Make sure you complete projects now before starting new ones. Perhaps you have created something special that will increase your sense of abundance and bring you opportunities for wealth. However, if you don't see it through, it won't add up to anything but more clutter. Now is the time to put your nose to the grindstone and complete the tasks that have accumulated. Pay your bills, sign the documents, do your filing, hand in the assignment, complete a work of art, tie up loose ends so you can move forward with surety. Knowing you're on the prosperous path and feeling refreshed and excited about the future. And your protection message, Cancer. When unfinished business casts a shadow over your life, it is a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage. It is not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. Don't overthink things or let yourself get distracted. Just tie up any loose ends and deliver the results. Don't quit before the finish line. Spirit wants you to win. All right, Cancer. I find that completely ironic because everything that we seen in the tarot, everything that we talked about today was confirmed by that last message. In all aspects, from the oracle all the way to the, the protection message, it touched on everything that we talked about. I have been doing this for quite some time and I'm always amazed at the universe, at spirit, and their confirmations. All right, my beautiful Cancers, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below if you want. If not, hey, I understand. If you have not yet joined Kassarian House of Tarot, please consider. We would love to have you part of the Kassarian Soul Tribe. Otherwise, I will catch you all later. Please remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day, Cancer. Namaste. Bye for now.